I have some tools to share with you today. They're IPVO tools, which is our doc camera. And I'm going to show you real quick how to download it. All you have to do is go to IPVO.com. I'm going to send you the links. Go to Downloads, and down here at the bottom, you'll see Annotator. It's free software. Download for free. And we want this bottom version that is Windows 7, 8, and 10. So it's going to ask you all these questions and just keep on going through the on-screen directions. Once you have it, you will see the tools here. This is what we have. And you have to click on this in your applications before it'll pop up on your screen. It doesn't just automatically pop up. To get them, you click on the Windows icon at the bottom, All Apps, scroll down until you see IPVO, and you will have the annotator icon there that you can click on, and you'll be able to see the tools. And you can only have one. The great things about using these tools is that when you are playing a video, even full screen, you can see these tools and you can use them from your computer or from our new interactive whiteboard frame if you're in the tech lab testing that out with your kids. There's a stamp. This one's my favorite, especially if you're doing a video because it's disappearing ink. It gradually fades as the video goes on. You can see that things are changing. If I was to circle something in the video, as the video continues, the ink goes away so that you can continue on. There's also a permanent ink that doesn't go anywhere. Just like the stamp, it's on your screen until you press the trash can. But when you press the trash can, it deletes anything that you have added to the screen. You have basic shapes, so you can draw lines, you can erase things. This eraser just allows you to erase little bits. I like to press the, the trash can and delete everything. The pointer, so that you can turn it back into a pointer to select things. And then your toolbox down here, you have a ruler which you can move around. If you expand it, it makes it longer, shorter, a cool protractor tool, so you can measure angles, which is really cool, especially since I can be doing all of this while my video is still going in the background. I can do it over websites, anything. This is a spotlight. You can move the spotlight and you can expand it so it's larger if you want the kids to focus in one spot. A reveal, if you will, if you're using Mimeo Lingo. This zooms, so anything that you put it over, it's going to zoom. And you can expand the section that it zooms or not. And you can do a screen shot. There's also the ability, while you're here, to very quickly go to a board and write. This breaks the board up into two places, and it automatically changes the color. You can even do screen recording from here. If you're working on a lesson and you want to go ahead and screen record, you can screen record anything that you do with the IPVO annotator, or you can just take screenshots. If you mark up a screen and you want to save it for later use, you can do that as well. I want to go back to this where I see my screen. All I had to do was click on this marker. Now, I'm done with my video. I want to go to Google. I can mark up here too with the disappearing ink or I can mark permanently but if I scroll up and down this stays or I switch websites this stays so I need to trash can it if I'm done with it. 
And again, this works, this is IPvo software, meaning you can use it with your doc cam. If you're using the interactive whiteboard frame in the tech lab, you could have the students come up and just trace with their fingers. This is some preschool practice I have printed out. You could have them answer questions with the disappearing ink, whatever. It works on websites with your IPvo, obviously, over top of videos, and it's free software that you can add. If you need any help, let me know.